Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay. Let go. Are you ready for action? Giggling as she laughing as Stevie pursue a passion. Trailblazing to satisfaction. Just Stevie is everlasting. Her drive, no one could match it. We knew that Stevie could make it on top of she always saying these words to encourage you. Stick around, she'll empower you. Turn the negative positive. And she just keeping it real. She doing it from the heart. Motivation was a start. If Stevie say you can make it, it's a bet that you will. It's just Stevie, just Stevie. Just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Hey, 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 what's going on? It is. Stevie Mills and I am known as Just Stevie and this is the Just Stevie Show. How y'all doing on today on this amazing Thanksgiving Eve? Yay! Get excited. This is Thanksgiving Eve. I know some of your homes are just filled with the fragrances of Thanksgiving. Filled with the fragrances of like sweet potato pies and all kinds of amazing yumminess, right? <laughs> I always start with dessert. But I am excited because this is the season to be thankful and to do something that is a reminder of being thankful. You should be thankful every day. But, you know, this is when you gather around with your friends and family. Hello, hello, Karen Mills. Hello, Renetta. Hello, Tommy. How y'all doing on today? What's going on? And so you should definitely be thankful for what it is that God has created in your life. I do believe that. And I do believe that gratitude is indeed the seed for more. So guess what? I want to ask you for more, to step out of your comfort zones and do something for me. Share, share, share this video out to all your people because today we're going to talk about gratitude. We're going to talk about Thanksgiving traditions and just like encourage you guys to try some new traditions in your own homes. But guess what? I have one tradition that I've been doing since I was probably like nine years old and now I'm 40. Wow. So every year, <laughs> every year on Thanksgiving morning, I am glued to the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It is really truly one of my dreams and aspirations in life to go to New York and be part of the amazingness that is the Thanksgiving Parade. So I believe that that will happen this year. You know, I'm 40, so, uh, well, by the time it happens again, I'll be 41. But <laughs> I will be there because I think I have to. I think I'm just, I'm afraid of the brutal cold. People who know me know I don't like cold. So to be outside for all those hours, just watch it when I can watch it from my house makes a <laughs> divine difference. But being out there with the people, I think it's going to be amazing, guys. I did some research about what we can expect tomorrow, and one of the highlights is Diana Ross will be there, not only with you know her ex her family, but her extended family. So we could see Evan Ross there, Tracy Ellis Ross, and guess what? Ashley Ross is going to be there. We know Ashley Simpson Ross, who is Evan's wife um, and Jessica's little sister, <laughs> is going to be part of the. <laughs> part of the festivities for the Macy's Parade and we also know that they have new floats every year and that's pretty cool so we'll be watching that and then I know some of you guys are all about the football right y'all love football and you'll be there watching I heard about some of the games and the games if I was going to choose a game to watch it would have to be the Bears and I think they're playing the Lions tomorrow if I'm not mistaken but I support the Bears why because Tariq Cohen was um, one of our star players at North Carolina a and Y'all know how much I love my beloved a and And now he is a bear. So we got to support the bears. We got to see what's happening with them. And it's so funny. I want to know, like, what is your can't be missed item on the menu tomorrow, right? We're going to have all kinds of yumminess. I have two because I like to eat. <laughs> I have two. One of them is definitely dressing. I love dressing. I can eat dressing anytime. It does not have to be Thanksgiving. I can eat dressing all year round. And macaroni and cheese. What in the world? I can take 
I can leave the turkey and eat those two and I'll be just fine. <laughs> And then you have to move on to the dessert table, right? And everybody who knows me knows I'm a dessert kind of store. So I do believe in pecan pie, sweet potato pie. I believe in all of those things, all that yumminess. I want to know what's cooking at your house because, hey, I might have to come get me a plate. But, yes, it's so amazing that all these great things are happening. And she's with me. Yes. <laughs> We stay live here, <laughs> stay live. So it's exciting, it's amazing that we all get to participate in this gratitude. And some of the things that we should be grateful for, especially in this year, is that we made it. We made it to Thanksgiving. Some people did not make it to Thanksgiving 2018, but we are the people who did. Some people just didn't make it. And our love, prayers, and condolences go out to those families. You know, we have had a lot of tragedy this year. This year has been very, very hard on a lot of people. But guess what? We made it. And um, it's, it's something when you think about that, that alone should make you grateful to just say, hey, I made it through this year. I am going to the next level. I am going to do something great. I think that we all need to have a gratitude journal. I believe in writing down the reasons why we're grateful. Hashtag, I am grateful because because when you do that, I always say gratitude is the seed for more. When you show that you're grateful, then God will bless you with more. And so I am very grateful for the opportunity to be here and to speak with all of you. I'm very grateful that we have a great team. I'm very grateful that, hey, I'm, I made it. <laughs> I'm very grateful for just being a part of such amazing things and when you guys inbox me and say, because of you, I continued my journey, or because of you, this happened, or that happened, um, you know, it, nothing can replace that. Nothing can replace that. And so I hope that you guys have sent this out. I definitely want to let you know what gratitude stands for, since we're talking about gratitude. It's the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for, and to return kindness. And at the end of the day, that's what we have. For, we have kindness. We have kindness in this world. And it may not seem that we do because this world can be brutal. It can be hard. It can be something where we're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But guess what? There's some kind of people in the world. There's some kind of people in the world. And they are truly to the next level of that. And I want to tell you some benefits of gratitude you didn't know about why you should have an attitude of gratitude. And I will be looking down occasionally because I got to read. But gratitude makes us happier. A five minute a day gratitude journal can increase your long term well being by more than 10%. That's amazing. Just take a notice of what you're grateful for, or writing it down, because we do know that writing makes a man exact. When you write it down, you have it emblazoned in the pages of whatever you are reading. And so another thing that happens is gratitude makes people like us. Yay. So <laughs> we are definitely showing gratitude. People will like us more. They're, they feel appreciated. They feel valued. The fact that you say these two magic words, thank you, right? Thank you for doing this. I make sure that I tell people thank you all the time, even if it's something small, um, because they don't have to do it. <laughs> they, the bottom line is nobody has to do anything for you, right? You just have to accept the fact and be grateful, and it makes people like us. Gratitude generates social capital. In two studies with 243 total participants, those who were 10% more grateful than average had 17.5 more social capital. And gratitude makes us nicer, more trusting, more social, and more appreciative. As a result, it helps us make more friends, deepen our existing relationships, and improve our marriages. Three, gratitude makes us healthier. Yes, there's even um, reason to believe gratitude can extend your lifespan by a few months or even years. Guys, listen, who wants a long and productive life? I know I do. Gratitude boosts our careers. Gratitude makes you a more effective manager, helps you network, increases your decision-making capabilities, increases your productivity, and helps you get mentors and proteges. So think about it, you're in a position or you want to grow in the position you have in business, gratitude takes it to the next level and allows you to like, get a better job, get a better position, get a better quality of life. Gratitude strengthens our emotions. 
Gratitude reduces feelings of envy, makes our memories happier, lets us experience good feelings, and helps us bounce back from stress. Wow. Gratitude develops our personality. It really does in, in potentially life-changing ways. Um, so, yes. The more grateful you are, the more appreciative you are of life, the greater everything will come about. That's so amazing. And it makes us more optimistic. I'm getting even more optimistic than I already was just by telling you about gratitude because it really is something. When people, when you feel appreciated, that person will want you to do more in their life, right? And so I am like, my love language is words of affirmation. So people making me feel good. <laughs> definitely definitely makes me happier so you know gratitude is strongly co correlated with optimism optimism in turn makes us happier improves our health and has been shown to increase lifespan by as much as a few years wow guys in one study of keeping a weekly gratitude journal participants showed a five percent increase in optimism and another study keeping a daily gratitude journal resulted a 15 percent increase in optimism guys listen 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 there's some more in this um in the gratitude list that i'm gonna go over but definitely want to take a break right now so that we can show our sponsors that we are grateful for them we'll be right back in just a moment it's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Who is N. Wesley Pugsley Jr. and Associates CPA? We are a full service CPA firm with over 25 years experience in audit, tax, bookkeeping, payroll, including direct deposit, setting a 501c3 nonprofit status, preparing loan packages, and much more. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. When I started in public accounting in the early 1980s, there were no computers or fax machines. Everything was face-to-face -face meetings. With the advent of computers, the internet, and cloud-based software, we could communicate with any client from anywhere in the country. With our portal technology, which is similar to online banking, you just sign into our secure website, upload your tax document, you scan to your C drive, and we prepare your return. It appears times are changing. I call this the year of enlightenment. Many Americans are seeing the advantages of supporting community-based businesses. We are here to serve you, not just because we're a community-based firm, but because we have the experience. We know we can serve your needs. Healthy food for healthier communities. In partnership with Focus Radio and Apple Ridge Farm, the Well Market is a youth-run farm stand providing healthy, local, organic produce to people living in the Northwest Gainesboro neighborhood. Fruits and vegetables such as greens, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, and squash are harvested from the George Washington Carver Community Garden in Northwest Roanoke and local farms in Floyd County including Patchwork, Green Island, and Apple Ridge Farm. Money raised from produce sales goes directly back into the program and continues to fund youth involvement and entrepreneurial skill development. Please visit the Well Market every Saturday from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. and help support healthy food for healthier communities. The Well, working, eating, living, and learning together. Faith for a Cure has a fourfold mission rooted in the cure. We care about the cause. We unite people with people. We partner with researchers in order to provide the most current information for persons living with sickle cell anemia in order to educate and spread awareness about this disease. Learn more about sickle cell anemia at www.faithforacure.org. Just Stevie, yep, just Stevie, Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Awesome. Hey y'all, I see some people. Hey Trisha, how you doing, girl? Aggie Pride. That's my Aggie Pride sister. Y'all don't know nothing about that. I'm fine. 
<laughs> she says, in all things give thanks. First Thessalonians 5 and 18. Praise Jesus. Yes, girl. And hello, Ursula. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I want to switch gears a little bit before we go back to our amazing gratitude journal um, class. <laughs> But we are talking about Thanksgiving. I am Stevie Mills, also known as Just Stevie, and this is the Just Stevie Show. And, uh-oh, and they say Stevie too, but they're talking about Stevie Wonder. But listen, <laughs> listen, listen. We're talking about the price of Thanksgiving meals, y'all. And check out how much Thanksgiving meals have, like, increased, you guys. <laughs> um, and it says that for this study, we're talking about for the purposes of this story, the components of a traditional Thanksgiving meal include a 16 pound turkey, 14 ounces of stuff, and I told y'all about this stuff, three pounds of sweet potatoes, a dozen dinner rolls, 16 ounces of frozen peas, um, 12, 12 ounces of cranberries, a half pound of both carrots and celery, ingredients for two pumpkin pies with whipped cream and a gallon of milk. Okay, that's what they're talking about. I want to put that. And Listen, listen, listen. In 1947, that meal was only five dollars and sixty-eight cents. <laughs> five dollars and sixty-eight cents, guys, for all that food. Oh my gosh! And the year that I was born, 1978, it was um, fifteen dollars and ninety-eight cents for that. <laughs> this is according to USA Today, so you know they're reputable sources. <laughs> And in 2018, it has gone up to $48.90 for all that. Guys, in just a few short years, it went from $5 all the <laughs> Inflation is something. We can tell that though because we go out to the, um, to the gas station and we know how much <laughs> the gas is. Inflation is something that's happening. So I wanted to share that fun fact because I thought it was fun. Shouts out. To Miss Troy English for being the person who researches this and gets me going with this. And also, she had something very interesting <laughs> that one of the articles she sent me was about this rare two headed snake that was found and I think it's dead now in Virginia. Wow, y'all. I told y'all, y'all better watch out. The eco life getting closer, the snakes. <laughs> it's interesting. Listen, we're going back to the gratitude list. <laughs> hey, gratitude reduces materialism. That's so true. You don't have to keep up buying all the stuff that you can't afford. Be grateful for what you have. A lot of times we have so much, so, so, so much. But we want this and we want that and we want this latest look and all this stuff. My grandma said something that I'll never forget. She said the only labels I want on my clothes are the ones with my name on it. And to me, you know, that talks about what Sean Combs and, you know, T.I. and all the people that have their own clothing labels. Guys, we need to be producers and not just consumers. And we can reduce the materialism in the world if we just stop it. Like, stop buying all this stuff. You don't need it. How many pairs of shoes can you actually wear at a time? One. So... <laughs> You just have to, I, I don't believe in having a whole, just a lot of stuff. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, I used to. I used to. It took some time of growth and going through things in life for me to be like, hey, I don't need that. I'm going to wear this. I don't like wearing the same thing every day, I'm very, especially on this show, because y'all see my clothes a whole lot. So, <laughs> I'm very cognizant of that, but... It, it was like at a point where I was like, okay, I gotta go buy this, this, this. Now I'm just like, hey, y'all better be okay with it. We just gonna, <laughs> just gonna roll on. Um, and number, it says, speaking about materialism, here are some things. Americans are inundated with materialistic role models every day from advertisements which highlight materialistic themes to celebrity culture which glorifies the rich and frivolous to business culture in which we are told our dreams should be to be rich and powerful. Gratitude helps by reducing our tendency to compare ourselves to those with a higher social status. And that's true. What happens is like in schools, I haven't really seen it down, well up here. I'm from North Carolina, so up here. But I haven't really seen it a lot here, but I know that a lot of schools have uniforms now because of this very reason. Because some people can't afford it to have their children in these outfits and when you have a uniform it kind of levels the playing field and so a lot of people are not proponents of 
uniforms but for that one reason to stop bullying and stop all this other craziness that happens sometimes in our schools I believe that they should have some uniforms because people, I mean, I remember getting picked on about my little pink Converse. I thought they were cute until somebody said something. I had a little pink Chuck Taylors, but they didn't like it, and I never wore them again, and there was money down the drain. But now, if somebody say something about what I got on, I'm like, mm. <laughs> it's a whole different thing. I had to come to that realization. I'm going to get off of that one. Y'all see I'm passionate about this. <laughs> Gratitude increases spiritualism. That's true. Spiritual transcendence is highly correlated with feelings of gratitude. That is, the more spiritual you are, the more likely you are to be grateful. That's true. I'm highly spiritual, and I just believe that you need to be grateful for whatever you have. God did not have to do it, but I'm so glad that he did. And there is a difference between spirituality and religion. I don't believe in being a Bible thumper. I believe that we all are just trying to get it right. But I do believe that you have to have a higher source. For me, it's Jesus Christ. For you, it could be Buddha. It could be The Rock. It could be, not The Rock like Dwayne Johnson, but The Rock on the street. It could be any of those things. So, 10. Gratitude makes us less self-centered. Absolutely. And, to, and they say, I'll be totally honest, I'm a self-centered twit. <laughs> I'm a lot better now than I've brought gratitude into my life, but I still spend way too much money time thinking about myself and too little thinking about others and that's what the author says and this website we're on is happierhuman.com and it talks about not being narcissistic and just being like showing other people hey you matter too gratitude increases self-esteem it really really does when you are grateful for what you have then you are not to a level of feeling bad because you might not have what they have but you have what you have and you're still blessed and I think that's a lot. We have to, in the season of Thanksgiving, look at that. And you know, one of the most materialistic holidays is coming up. It is. I think we've lost the reason for the season. And the kids out here, I, I don't know what kids like now. I don't, because I don't have kids. But I'm sure I'll be hearing from some kids what they want <laughs> this Christmas. But I know last season, one of my friends, it was something called Switch, something. Nintendo Switch and they like three different adults had to come together to get that for this child or they would have been sad I'm like and I remember growing up because I, I'm the only child and the youngest in my mom's family I used to ask for like one thing and get it two and three times because they wanted to make sure I had a happy Christmas But now I don't, I don't believe in buying all these Christmas gifts. I don't So I believe in having a happy January <laughs> I believe in paying my bills but that's really, <laughs> but I'm in a different circumstance. What well, I would say to parents is definitely remind your kids what's truly important. Don't get caught up in like going broke for something because at the end of the day, are they really going to believe um, in that gift anymore after Christmas, after they take the wrapping off? Are they really going to get with that or are they going to want to just spend time with you? Let's think about that. Hey, Lynette, how are you? And our producer is like, no, they're not going to believe <laughs> They're going to be done with it. And so, yes, we're going to do this one, and then we're going to take a commercial break because we're getting to the end of the show. I can talk to y'all all day. But gratitude improves your sleep. Amen and absolutely. Because when you go to sleep and you're grateful, then you'll be able to, work, to wake up. You're not worried about having to get that 2019 Beamer or that whatever, whatever. You go to sleep like, thank you, Jesus. I have the three elements of life, food, clothing, and shelter. No matter where the food came from, whether it came from um, the best restaurant in town or whether it came from the government, does not matter. You eating <laughs> clothing and shelter. That's the thing. And I think so many people overlook that. Let's go to sleep happy. And so I am going to go ahead and take a brief commercial break and we'll be right back in just a few short moments. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Hey. One, two, one, two. Ah, ah, here we go. It's my time to rise. It's my time to shine. It's my time. Feel it, time has come 
When you partner with Bank of Botetourt and Virginia Mountain Mortgage, you're helping shape the town you love. It's where you live, your culture, your favorite things that all come together to make it more than just buildings. It's your home. We've been part of your community since 1899. Our local lenders are your neighbors, and we're here to take care of you, your home, your neighborhood. Bank of Botetourt and Virginia Mountain Mortgage. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. All right, we are back, and if you are just joining us, my name is Stevie Mills, and this is the Just Stevie Show. And we're talking about gratefulness and gratitude and all that amazingness. But gratitude keeps you away from the doctor. Gratitude can't cure cancer. Neither can positive thinking, but it can strengthen your psychological functioning. So that's right. When you, because at the end of the day, when you are not stressed, then you feel better. <laughs> so if you're grateful for what you have, then you're not going to be stressed, and that's a really key component. Um, it says gratitude reduces level of stress, and that I didn't even have read that yet by <laughs> activating the paras parasympathetic nervous system. Stress, in turn, has been shown to disrupt healthy body functioning, and it also encourages pro-health behavior like exercising and paying attention to health risks, and that's so true. That's so true. When I was stressed and got real sick, I wasn't grateful for what I was doing. I was looking to for the next thing, for the next thing, for the next thing, whatever is going to make me more successful in my mind. And so, you know, even when I get to the point of doing that now, I just have to take a bath, a bubble bath, and breathe. Because sometimes this life we live can just be, it could be too much. So you have to decompress and not feel bad about doing that. So gratitude lets you live longer, that's true. Because again, going back to not being as stressed, having fun, enjoying life. When you're at that point in life, when you're like, hey, you know, I think it, you come to a day when you realize that if you drop dead today, the, wor the world is going to keep going. <laughs> the, and as, as morbid as that sounds, it's the truth. If you drop dead today, the world's going to keep going. So there's no need for you to worry or fret about anything because while you are still doing that, then, then you are going to be like, hey, listen. So you better chill out. <laughs> Gratitude increases your energy level. Um, there was a study of 238 people found a correlation of 0.46 between vitality and gratitude. Amen. Um, and there was a study of 1,662 people found a correlation of 0.38 between vitality and gra gratitude. So if you are grateful, you'll have more energy because you feel good. <laughs> Speaking of feeling good, I know we have reached like the almost end of our show. So what I want to say is thank you. I'm looking directly into my, your camera at you, whoever you may be on the other side. But thank you for just being here. Thank you for being not only part of the Just Stevie family, but the Focus family. I definitely want you to turn on Focus Radio each and every day um, after my show. And know that if you go to YouTube, you can find us too under NFE TV. Check us out there. Guys, let's make this the most grateful holiday season ever between now and the new year. Make it a great day. That's a gratitude-filled phrase. Make it a great day. Do not have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you too have the power to do so. Happy Thanksgiving. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie.